NWO invading WCW, ECW invading the WWF, the Alliance invading the WWF. Tell me, how is a bunch of rookies pushing around Bret Hart going to be so much better? I do not understand the point of NXT. I do not understand it. Just like New DX, I do not understand why NXT exists. Why there is a need for a rookie show. I mean, even if a wrestler is clearly new and clearly has a ladder to climb, why would you want to emphasize it constantly with a rookie label slapped onto him? What good does that do? Does that really bring him up more than it keeps him down? Instead of slapping a degrading rookie label on a performer that's probably wrestled all over the world already, why not just do it the way promotions used to do it? Why not just package him properly, push him properly, and then just let him go as high as he can go based on charisma, talent, and fan approval on a ladder that's clearly established? Before the current clusterfuck, where we now have guys like Jericho and CM Punk winning IC titles after world titles, the WWF used to have pretty clearly defined categories. The lines were not rigid, but as a fan you generally knew where a wrestler fell. Like in 1992, it was pretty clear who was where. You had guys like Warrior, Flair, and Savage in the world title scene, guys like Brett, Piper, and Bulldog tearing it up for the IC title. Then you had the mid-card guys like Bossman, Tatanka, and Crush, who were popular in their own right. And then you had the undercard with people that nobody really took too seriously and seemed to be there just to fill up free TV time, like the Berserker. Now, when you bring in new wrestlers like a Scott Hall or a Charles Wright into this system, do you just call them rookies and stick them at the bottom? No! You package them into interesting personalities and push them as high as they can go! The bad guy, Razor Ramon, the mysterious Papa Shango, Razor Attack Savage costing him the world title, Shango plays mind games on the warrior, you're trying to maximize what you can get out of these guys. And yes, the results will vary. So whereas Papa Shango was kind of interesting at first, but eventually fizzled, Razor Ramon successfully entered the IC title realm and is now a legend. Now, imagine if Razor Ramon and Papa Shango operated under today's NXT format. They'd be down here. We wouldn't even have Razor. We'd be looking at Young Gun Rookies, Scott and Charles, down here with a bunch of other rookies, having mentors and featured over here on the sea show that almost nobody watches. How is this maximizing a push? How is this getting people over? In my opinion, I think guys like Triple H probably love it like this, because it keeps the young guys at bay and segregated on a program known as The Rookie Show that almost nobody watches. Even when they invade Raw, it's not like the charismatic Razor Ramon attacking Randy Savage. It's just a bunch of no individuality rookies attacking Cena. Get rid of the label! Why does NXT exist? Get rid of this rookie identity where they're implied as nobodies. Start them out as somebodies! Just like the way they made Jack Swagger world champion, the WWE has their format completely back asswards in my opinion. What they should have is no segregated rookie show and an established ladder of success that well packaged wrestlers can fall into somewhere. But instead, they have a clusterfuck up here where the IC belt means nothing and guys like Sheamus and Jack Swagger can become world champion out of nowhere. And under the clusterfuck, they stick a bunch of new guys on a show that almost nobody watches. How is this going to get people over? And what exactly is the difference between Jack Swagger and the rookies? Swagger became a world champion only four months into the company. What the fuck's going on?